Here we go. Cool. Look at these. Cheers. Yes. Welcome to another edition of our journey. Uh, last time we challenged our, our, each other to identify each other's yeah. spirit animals, right? <laughs> so here I have a snow leopard for uh, Caitlin over here. <laughs> um, all right. Do you want to know why? I want to know why I'm a snow. Like I'm super happy about being a snow leopard, by the way. Oh, good. But, but I want to know mysterious. why. <laughs> Okay. All right. This is why. Okay. So a snow leopard represents uh, being balanced and having a strong center of self. Because uh, they hunt at night and can see in the dark, they represent uh, being, um, being perceptive, having an intense awareness and recognition of your surroundings and the opportunities herein. Um, so that, that focus, that keen observation, uh, it, it, that combined with this strategic sense of disguise allows the snow leopard to turn its attention inward um, as it fades into the white background. Um, so it can pay attention to its core passions and how to achieve them. It's very deliberate in how it does things and it perceives other things that others do not. Uh, so strongly intuitive. Uh, it said that uh, they're also very earth grounded and you, you've often talked about how you're so connected to the earth. Um, so it is said by many cultures that the snow leopard has one foot in the earthly plane and then one in the spiritual plane. And that's, so they can be very intuitive, even psychic, even so voila, the snow leopard. Wow. I am like, <laughs> yep. I like it. Awesome. That just gave me goosebumps. Like oh, wicked. And I actually, I picked the animal before I even researched what it meant. I was like, I think it's a snow leopard. So it well, worked out. There and you go. funny enough, I picked, like the animal came to me for you. You're, you are an owl. The owl. And, and it came to me first and then I researched it and I was like, yeah, these things follow. But there's other aspects about the owl that made, made it resonate. So um, deep connection with wisdom and knowledge is an owl right and like your curiosity to learn and to know is just like you have this insatiable need to learn more and get to know more and you're so i would say humble in your your approach to learning more right so i like that intuition ability to see what others don't see so you you are often very perceptive of of the emotional side the, the things that people can't see Right. And the feeling and the sense of, you know, we call you the culture ninja, right? <laughs> that comes with like getting a sense of who, how people are feeling and that kind of thing. So I really liked that. Um, I'm not going to go with the traditional meaning, which is the announcer of death, but that, you know, we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that one out. But the other thing I liked about the animal is that its relationship to the sky and for you and your, passion for outer space and being up there with ideas and with your you know intergalactic travel plans <laughs> i think that like that follows falls nicely so um that's why i picked the owl oh fantastic so there and you go hunters so not to be pushed over oh um, so two very <laughs> intuitive animals there you go right so, like you know, if I had a business and I wanted someone to help me with my business, I'd be okay with a snow leopard and an owl, yeah. right? And I think so. Him, right? <laughs> well, funny enough, we're not even competing on the food chain, so I think this is great. Hmm. Yes, very, very complimentary, right? That's right. Both can be good omens, right? Because both of them you don't see too often. Like there, there's an owl that lives on my property here, and I see the owl like. Mm, Maybe once every couple months, I'll get just like a like a glimmer, and he's gone. So, so he is your spirit animal then. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Although I've never <laughs> seen a snow leopard. No. I don't know if I'd want to. Maybe very if hard. Or if there's a fence in between us. <laughs> I saw a National Geographic presentation by a guy who was trying to photograph them, and you can go out there to you know the Nepalese mountains or wherever they live and for months and not see one they're just 
they're like ghosts. So. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. it. That's awesome. <laughs> There's a spirit animal. I, I thought that was, it was harder than I thought, to be honest. Right? It's yeah. very, it, uh, it takes some thought, right? Um, so yeah, super fun exercise. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, great. Well, I have so another how, challenge for you. Okay. Uh, inspired by the great Stan Peak. Mm. Right? Great guy. Um, and something that you've always wanted to do, but have avoided, I think. Yes. All right. Okay, I didn't know what this is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I challenge you to write your own eulogy, one, two of them. One as if you're writing it today, and mm. one as if you're writing it, I don't know, 20 years from now. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fun exercise. I feel as though uh, you're right. I heard about this exercise a few years ago and I was like, Oh, that sounds cool. I was like, Ooh, I don't know if I want to go there. <laughs> but, We're doing um, it. We're doing it. Although, although that was before, you know, Enta and our business and all this. So um, I suspect I would be much more comfortable or happier writing it now. Since <laughs> finding. I feel I feel as though Enta for me has um, represented in many ways finding a purpose. Whereas in my career up till then, for a variety of different companies, that's I kind of seen I felt like I was looking for something. So Yeah, totally. Yeah, super interesting. <laughs> that, no, that would have been an interesting comparison, writing it like ten years ago and then seeing what it was. Right? Yeah, no, amazing. And you know, you know, maybe, maybe in some ways, um, even if even if you don't physically write out the exercise, maybe the seed is planted enough, right? I don't know. No, there is something powerful about putting pen to paper. Mm -hmm. I have I've also been challenged to um, do that exercise where you start writing and then just don't stop and write whatever comes to your head. I've, I've never done that either. You've never done that? I've done that. Yeah? Yeah. And how did it go? It gets emotional. Yeah? Really? Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, where, where does it go? So, there you go. Some writing exercises for homework. My problem is that I'm I'm so used to typing. I'm not used to write, like, physically writing that I, like, my hand gets cramped up and I can't write as fast as it's going in my head. Hmm. There is something more intimate about writing, right? Like script i mean even though my penmanship i think engineering school killed my penmanship because it was like writing so many numbers and so many notes so fast that it just <laughs> destroyed it but, um, so you had nice writing before i wouldn't say nice but maybe nicer, <laughs> nicer. Like, you know, like legible <laughs> right um, you know it's like why doctors right you know their prescriptions are so like just a disaster it's probably similar right they probably wrote so freaking much that's a, that's what we need. We need business prescription paper. Yeah, there you go. You know what yeah, you're I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna prescribe you a document control system. That's right, you know? and a risk management process. Yeah, yeah, so you're gonna take this twice a day for the next month. <laughs> and and then it's gonna it's gonna help. Trust definitely me. Definitely for you know, right? we'll we'll yeah. reduce your dosage, but you're gonna do that for the rest of your life. <laughs> Actually, that might be a fun marketing campaign. <laughs> Just saying, that would be super fun. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. That might be a fun, uh, fun little thing to do there. Um, um, well, this has been a fun, fun journey, and I look forward to our next challenge. This, this eulogy challenge is not going to be easy. But you gave me an idea this morning. I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to uh -oh. tell. Oh, okay. You gave me an idea. I know how I'm starting my eulogy. Oh. Interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, super fun. All right. Well, Cheers. hey, cheers. There Bye. you go. <laughs>